Julie Andrews' ex-husband Tony Walton has died after he suffered a stroke. Tony Walton has died at the age of 87, his daughter Emma Walton Hamilton has confirmed. Emma, who he shares with Julie Andrews, confirmed he died following complications from a stroke. Tony was an acclaimed set designer and costume designer, who won an Oscar for the film All That Jazz. Across his career, he also won Tony Awards for his highly lauded work on Pippin and Guys and Dolls. His daughter Hannah shared that he had died on Wednesday evening at his home in New York City. She is his only daughter from his marriage to Julie from 1959 until 1968. The couple were childhood sweethearts and fell in love in their teens. Tony had spoken of falling in love with the Hollywood star when he saw her in Humpty Dumpty at the London Casino in 1948. They were married in Surrey with daughter Emma being born in 1962. After their divorce in the late 1960s. The couple remained close friends. Tony was an acclaimed set designer and costume designer, who won an Oscar for the film All That Jazz. Tony remarried in 1991 when he tied the knot with General Leroy. Julie also married again to director Blake Edwards in 1969. She became stepmother to his children and adpoted two daughters, Amy and Joanna. They were together until his death in 2010 at the age of 88. Tony began his career working on stage before Walt Disney hired him for Mary Poppins. Over the years, he also worked on Fahrenheit 451, Petulia, Equus and Regarding Henry. His most recent work was on stage for The Sleeping Beauty and A Tale of Two Cities in 2007. Tributes have begun pouring in for the star following the news of his death. Actress Judy Kuhn tweeted, Oh Tony Walton. I am so so sad to hear of his passing. He was so brilliant and so kind. A true gentleman. I feel so lucky that our paths crossed. R.I.P. Treat Williams added, A.S. asterisk, T. Rip to my lovely friend Tony Walton. One of the sweetest, kindest, most talented men I've had the pleasure to work with on Prince of the City. Irreplaceable. I'm so sorry Jen. While actress Sharon Lawrence wrote, the creative arts has lost a giant. We were so fortunate to be cradled in the jewel box he created for this lovely play. His talent set the bar. Stay